Hello everyone. Our today's topic is nutrition. That means nutrition in plants, particularly photosynthesis. Already we have discussed about life processes. We know that all the processes like respiration, digestion, which together keep the living organisms alive and perform the job of body maintenance are called life processes. Life processes, it is of several types as it is written here, growth, digestion, respiration, circulation, excretion, etc. So already these things we have discussed. Now the next part, today's new topic, it is nutrition. So what is nutrition? All of you know that nutrition is the process by which an organism taking their food. That means it's a mode of food taking process. That is nutrition. Now the question is, what is the need of nutrition? When we walk or ride a bicycle, we are using up energy. Even when we are not doing any apparent activity, energy is needed to maintain a state of order in our body. We also need materials from outside in order to grow, develop, synthesis, protein and other substances needed in the body. This source of energy and material is the food we eat. So, nutrition, it is very important because food is the source of energy and by this process we are getting food. After digestion of the food, we are getting energy and energy is required for doing any work. That is why nutrition is essential for any living being. Now what are nutrients? Nutrients as it is written here that materials which provide nutrition to organisms are called nutrients. Means the food we consume it is made up of carbohydrate, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. That means nutrients are nothing. Nutrient means it is a component of food. So what are these components? That is carbohydrate, protein, fats, vitamins and minerals. Out of this, carbohydrate, protein and fats, they are main nutrients. So they are called macronutrients. Macro means we need these nutrients in larger amount, larger quantity in our body. And minerals and vitamins, they require in small amount. So they are called micronutrients. So this is all about nutrients. So difference between nutrition and nutrients. I think it is clear. Nutrition means mode of food intake and nutrients means component of food. Now the question is how do living things get their food? Is there any particular process? So the general requirement of energy and material is common in all organisms. But it is fulfilled in different ways. Some organisms use simple food materials obtained from inorganic sources in the form of carbon dioxide and water. These organisms, the autotrophs, it includes plants and some blue green algae or some blue green bacteria. Other organisms utilize complex substances. And these complex substances have to be broken down into simpler ones before they can be used for the upkeep and growth of the body. So to achieve this organism, use biocatalyst called enzyme. And they are called heterotrophic. The mode of nutrition is called heterotrophic and the organisms are called heterotrophs. So once again, what we come to know that there we can see here two different types of mode of nutrition one is autotrophic nutrition and another is heterotrophic nutrition autotrophic means you, we know that the green plants and blue green algae it comes under uh, this category because they can make their food and heterotrophic nutrition means some other organism which depends on green plant they comes under this heterotrophic nutrition so heterotrophic is one mode of nutrition and autotrophic is another mode. Now again 
in the next diagram next picture you will get two more terms that is autotrophs and heterotrophs so don't be confused autotrophs means green plants are called autotrophs and the process they are doing they are uh, making their food that is autotrophic that means the mode of nutrition is autotrophic but the green plants they are called autotrophs likewise animals they are called heterotrophs any animals they are called heterotrophs but their mode of nutrition is called heterotrophic so whenever you will use the term nutrition you should keep in your mind that it is for mode how you are taking food that is mode and heterotrophs or autotrophs means that particular example that particular organism now the next point here you can see there are so many pictures are given here so the next point that is about the plant nutrition plant nutrition we know that green plants means they can make their food in presence of sunlight and uh, by carbon dioxide and water using as a raw material but sometimes you might have seen that there are some other plants in some green plants over some green plants they are called parasite they are not exactly green they are just taking food from their host plant so here you can see the parasite and host plant these things are there in your class 7 book so i think you are knowing that what is parasite what is host plant one example of parasite is that is cascuta amarga so this name are also they were also there in your book so this is cascuta and amarga now the next we will talk about photosynthesis so what is photosynthesis i think definition it is clear food making process in very simple term the green plants make their food that is photosynthesis but here the new thing is that equation during photosynthesis what the chemical process is going on inside of the plant that is combination of carbon dioxide and water and formation of glucose and oxygen we know that the by this process oxygen is the by product means plant release oxygen due to photosynthesis so oxygen is there but the what is the food food is glucose here you can see in glucose you can see there is a carbon there is a hydrogen there is a oxygen now the question is how the plant get this carbon this oxygen and this hydrogen that means these if you want to make any food you need some ingredient and after using that ingredient you can make their food likewise when the plant is making glucose and the in uh, that uh, glucose contain carbon hydrogen and oxygen definitely the raw in raw material there is some carbon source there is some hydrogen and oxygen source so today i will tell you which one is a hydrogen source what is hydrogen source what is carbon source and oxygen as well so this is the picture of photosynthesis the picture is clear the leaf green leaf that is chlorophyll by utilizing light and water they are making by using carbon dioxide they are making their food here one thing i'd like to tell you what are the raw material if someone ask you so raw material is carbon dioxide and water water plant absorb from root and carbon dioxide it enters through the stomata of the leaves all of you know about the stomata we are knowing about the stomata so carbon dioxide reaches to the plant through the stomata and by using these two water and carbon dioxide oxygen is released out and rest of the thing converted into glucose here you have seen that written here starch starch is nothing it is a stored food when plant preparing their food they are preparing their food it is in the form of glucose but all the glucose is not consumed by the plant so definitely they used to store it so when they used to store it this glucose inside of their cell it is in the form of starch so glucose and starch one glucose is simple uh, carbohydrate and starch is and that is complex carbohydrate so store food if someone ask you it is always starch 
Now there is one question what is the store food in human body? You have to find out from your book the store food of human body. If you get the answer write in comment box the answer with your name. Now here we can see the steps of photosynthesis. These steps are given there in your book. It is uh, in your book it is page number 96. So three steps were there. So here I am giving you a few steps regarding photosynthesis. So first of all we know that sunlight activates chlorophyll which leads to splitting of water. Splitting means breakdown. First of all chlorophyll takes sunlight and by using that energy or during that period when the chlorophyll is energized there is another process that is a breakdown of water molecule. And water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. So due to breakdown of this water there is a production of hydrogen. So hydrogen is released by splitting of water molecule and these hydrogen join with the carbon dioxide and form carbohydrate. Very simple because I told you that carbohydrate that means glucose is the food and which is made up of carbon hydrogen and oxygen. So from where this hydrogen and carbon and oxygen is coming that hydrogen is from splitting of water that means it is provided by water and carbon and oxygen is provided by carbon dioxide. So all together by joining this all there is a production of glucose that is carbohydrate. And oxygen is byproduct already I told you. Uh, and finally the carbohydrate that means glucose is converted into starch and stored in the leaves that also discussed. Mm, it is a splitting of water means the water a splitting of water means breakdown of water. It requires light that means it is light reaction. And other steps are part of dark reaction during photosynthesis. That means one little information it is for higher classes actually that in photosynthesis two type of reaction is there. One is light reaction another is dark reaction. So during light reaction there is a production of that splitting of water takes place and after production of this splitting of water formation of hydrogen there is a dark reaction carbohydrates. So this is all about the process of photosynthesis. I think it is clear, very simple carbon dioxide and water joined together. First of all water breakdowns in presence of light and produce hydrogen and oxygen as a byproduct. And that hydrogen join with carbon dioxide and form carbohydrate. So splitting of water it is in during light uh, presence of light. So it is light reaction process and Formation of carbohydrate or glucose that is in dark so it is dark reaction. Now the next it is written how do raw materials from photosynthesis already we have discussed that uh, water comes from soil and uh, carbon dioxide comes in leaves through stomach. So these things we have discussed already. Now the next important thing which is uh, given here that opening and closing of stomata. Actually this is very important because uh, it is your in-text uh, question, one of the answer of your in-text question. So opening and closing of stomata is very important. Now how the stomata, first of all what is stomata? All of you know that tiny pores present on the surface of the leaf, they are called stomata. Up to this you are knowing and function of stomata that also you are knowing that fun main function of stomata is number one exchange of gases, number two transpiration. So exchange of gases means carbon dioxide and oxygen and other and transpiration means removal of excess water. So this is a these are the function of stomata. Now if I I want to show you the structure of stomata here you can see the structure of stomata. Uh, stomata structure mainly two guard cells and then guard cells are surrounded by, with subsidiary cell. So one picture it is showing opening of stomata first one A and second one it is closing of stomata. So opening and closing. Now how does it occur? How stomata open? How it closed? So there is a process. The opening and closing of the pores is a functioning of the guard cells. Actually you can see here the opening and closing of the pores is a function of the guard cell. The guard cells swell when water flows into them causing the stomatal pore to open. Similarly, the pore closes 
if the guard cells shrink. So this is the answer of your one question. And here you can see there is an exchange of gases. That is one of the function of stomata. At the same time, removal of large amount of water can also be lost through this stomata. So this is the second function of stomata. So two questions you will be asked from here. One is function of stomata and uh, second is how it works. That is how it uh, open and how does it close. So with this, I think the photosynthesis is clear. The process of photosynthesis is clear. So here it is significance of photosynthesis. That means where it is used. So for the photosynthesis is the main way through which the solar energy is made available for different living beings. So this is the only way by which solar energy is available to the living being. And the second is green plants are the main product of food in the ecosystem. That is also we know that green plants are producers. Can we make food? No. We are consuming green plants. So they are the only source of food. And how they are making their food? The process of photosynthesis. And the process of photosynthesis also helps in maintaining the balance of carbon dioxide and oxygen in air. How it is? If there is no photosynthesis, no relieving of uh, releasing of oxygen. So whatever oxygen we are getting, it is because of the photosynthesis. And whatever carbon dioxide we are releasing, that balance it is maintained by the plant by this process photosynthesis. So here again you can see the summary of this process. The green plant using sunlight, chlorophyll, water carbon dioxide, making glucose and byproduct oxygen. So I think the whole process is clear. Once again, in this topic, what we have read today, we have read about nutrition. That means mode of food intake. Nutrients means component of food. Carbohydrate, fats, vitamins, minerals, protein. Then after autotroph and heterotroph. Green plants are autotroph. Animals are heterotrophs. Then after uh, parasite and host plant we discussed and after that photosynthesis process, equation of photosynthesis. Then I explain you how the glucose, the food is glucose, how this glucose fo is formed. That is because of using this water and carbon dioxide as a raw material. So hydrogen part of glucose is coming from uh, giving by water and carbon part of the carbon and oxygen by this carbon dioxide. So these are the steps. And then after the last, we have read about opening and closing of stomata. Okay, one thing that one picture is left here. It is nothing. It is a section view of leaf. The same picture you will get in your page number 96. Page number 96. So you can check this picture there because I want to show you the actually where the photosynthesis takes place. It is in leaf, inside of the leaf cell, it is green we know, inside of the leaf cell there is a chloroplast and inside of this chloroplast chlorophyll that is the pigment is present and chlorophyll is responsible for photosynthesis not the chloroplast. Chloroplast is only one chamber, inside of that the green pigment chlorophyll is present. So to showing uh, this all thing chloroplast, I just took this picture from your book. So this is the cross section of leaf. So this is not that much important. It is only for your knowledge. You should know that these things are there in your book. So with this, today's topic is over. Now in my next video, I will give you that is heterotrophic uh, mode of nutrition. At last, uh, if you want to see video, it is animated. Uh, so, uh, there is a link given above of this video and uh, you just click on that link, you will get that video. So, you will enjoy that video. Now, there is homework part, assignment part. So, page number 101, question number 1 and 2. 101, page number may vary, it is your index question for your second index question. So, it is question number 1 and 2. And from your exercise, 
you can do question number seven. You make one notebook and you just write down few points from this video and along with that question answer. It is your now you are in class 10, you are board student. So you have to do by yourself and regarding this video or this topic, if you have any doubt, you can ask me, you can call me and after watching video, all of you just write your name in the comment box and along with your doubts if it is there. Okay, thank you.